Well, <laughs> this is awkward. Never really seen myself being worked in a mirror before. Who does my hands? Steve! Well, I'm not sure why I thought it was a good idea to show you guys how the um, puppet looks on my hand, but hey, today's video is sponsored. Because today's video is sponsored by the coldest water bottles. Your hand ever gets so hot inside of a puppet that you feel like you need to cool it down a little bit? Steve? I know what you're thinking, but a little too lazy to get your hand actually out of the puppet, don't do it. So you take a water bottle you find from downstairs and just... Yep. Did that help? Yeah, not really. It's, to be honest, this water is about the same temp as my hand probably feels right on. I'm still sweaty. Didn't help. But today's sponsor will. Well, with the coldest water company, these bottles have been engineered for six years. Six whole years and with our elite team of engineers based in naples florida they have created the coldest bottle we have still have coldest ice packs there's the coldest coolers there's even cold pillows and they also have coffee which is perfect for this product because it also takes heat very well with these bottles holding cold temperatures up to 36 hours or more depending on the size of the bottles even up to 100 and also being able to hold heat for over 12. plus the lids are even fully insulated with their 2.0 lid technology which keeps water colder longer which is a first ever. And what's great too is the bottles don't sweat, which is great for my soft fabric puppet hands. I really don't need to build up moisture and mildew. That'd be gross for Steve. Also, they're very strong and durable. I'll demonstrate. hi -ya! See, no damage at all. Also super odor resistant and don't build up bacteria, unlike the inside of me, which is gross to think about. Ugh, oh, it's all Steve's sweat hand in here. <laughs> And look, it floats. It floats pretty well. So if you guys are interested in picking up your own bottles, again, they have varying sizes depending on what you need. If you like one for hiking, camping, going to the gym, very many options. Heck, even just reviewing things. God, I need water all the time. So there'll be a link in the description below. And also we got our own discount code, which is Geek10. If you put that in, save 10% on checkout. And we'd like to thank The Coldest Water for sponsoring this video. And now, onto the show. Listen up, Raiders. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. I'm thirsty. Continue. Steve, why were you yelling at this thing? I think you made it super why loud. Not? I don't know. It's all I know is yelling. Oh, so what we have here... I used to just yelling because of my audio. <laughs> Gotta be a little louder at home. What we have here is a special unboxing from a good friend. He says it's special. I just think it's my own. Uh, so, my friend Rez was selling some of his figures on that bottom. Well, I bought a few uh, Predator figures, Arnold figures. I bought a couple, too. So I'll see what I got in here. Uh, Mine are kaiju-related, though. His are better for the channel. This is better for myself. I don't get views. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? The funny thing is, though, I don't know what's in the box. I only open it just to make sure that the part is fine, because if you look here, uh, it said fragile, and looks like the pricks kicked it in. It is the fragilest. <laughs> oh my god, let's see what I got. It's been sitting in my house for like three days. I've not opened it. I'm already excited. I see paper. I see paper. Okay, so he's we also got to get a new cable. So this I know, right? I have, I have the extended cable at home. Steve, you had one job. Eh, I probably should have ordered one when I was ordering because uh, we're currently working on still setting up stuff. But we figured we'd do a video just to kind of do one. Now, what I got here is the commando figure. Oh, which Rez, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> I like that he sends me pictures. I'm like, oh, I actually kind of want to buy this. He's like, I already, has already bought it. <laughs> and then I got the jungle extraction Dutch. Okay. Why does well, it just look like... It looks like just Dutch. We'll zoom in. What with? Yeah, we'll zoom in eventually. This is actually the one I wanted. Then we have Jungle Dutch Disguise Dutch. Dutch with his clothes These on. are the three I bought. And then... Oh, yeah, there's a bag in here. He sent me... Alright, Steve, what is this? Rez, you might have to fill us in on some of these figures. Alright. That almost looks like a Duke Nukem body. Uh, Steve's failing. Last this, act, this is not last action hero. I actually, 
actually not 100%. It is white t-shirt Arnold. He needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I'm not going to lie, Riz. He's got some white paint in random spots. What is that? Look at that. It's a pulse rifle. It's a pulse rifle from Alien. Love it. And then we have a regular gun. It is a Duke Nukem. I know these red hands anywhere. Oh my gosh, see if you just noticed that. I was gonna well, I didn't realize. I think it just happened. Almost, um. It's got the nuclear symbol on the wrist. Oh! Okay, that makes more sense. I remember this thing that he did. Let's say Colonial Marines Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's where the gun comes from. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then, Arnold with a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, so this is just loose Arnold. This is probably where the this gun's supposed to be. Yep. As soon as I seen those red hands, I knew what figured out. It definitely looks like Duke Nukem. I didn't notice the... I, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's the body. Because I used the same body for my uh, Douglas Gordon. Alright, so, so I'm not certain what it's supposed to be. That is a good question, Rez. What is it supposed to be? Let us know. I was thinking Last Action Hero, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Don't matter. This is going to go in a wall somewhere. So, we're opening these up? Uh, no. But. No, no, no. It's an unboxing. No, no. You, you can't. Vital. Destroying the value. Not on this. Or this. But I, I, these ones I cannot put back inside. And I hit my head on the mic. I'm going home. You can open that. We can open a commando. I did it. He's the most worthwhile. All right. So first and foremost, I guess we're gonna zoom in here in a minute. If you guys can look, you can just zoom in using the software. I don't want to zoom in using the software. That's so much extra editing for me when I can just be a lazy and have you get. We up just and zoom talked in. about upgrading the quality on this channel. <laughs> it's like budget. We're getting. We're standing up. <laughs> No, we're going to have you get up, and it's going to be great. So much extra work for Steve. Yeah, it is a little... You know, I'll just get it now, I guess. Well, actually, we'll unbox the command on the now. We're going to set these guys next to the coldest water bottle, because the bottle needs protection. Oh, yeah. I'm not opening these. I'm actually kind of happy about these guys. So, I'm curious. What? They are the same pants. Different paint. Different paint, the same pants. Um, body, I'm assuming, is this one's? Oh, no, that's sculpted. I can't do that one. I imagine there's a shirtless Arnold somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, which one do you want? Uh, the vest is definitely the same on that one. So the vest is different. So it's mainly just the pants. Pants, arms, body is probably from something. Oh, I already have Jungle Disguise Dutch. Do you? Which one's Jungle this guy? Is that the... Oh, yeah, because that's the, the crate one? Yeah, that's the crate one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same one. I Well, I think I have that one. I don't have the crate one. No, I didn't even know I had that up there. Until or I vice versa. I, might have, I, know I, I know I have a Dutch. I'm pretty sure it's like that. <laughs> they have, oh, no, they come with different accessories. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to get out everything, I guess, but he does come with... He goes the greatest weapon, though, right there. You can make a custom Resident Evil. You know, with the rocket launcher? Yes. All right, I guess we'll zoom in for a second. Oh, it even comes with missiles you can put into it. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Wait, wait, we just talked about this. I thought we are going bettering our channel. I can just zoom in. There's the accessories. <laughs> right there. There's the, what looks like an AK... Some kind of light machine gun, the missiles, the hand cannon, the rocket launcher. I'm curious to see how the missiles are going. While he's doing that, I'll show you off these guys. 
Hey, you're missing a part. What am I missing? You're missing something, man. What? See, there's four things. There should be four things, right? We're missing a missile? Missile or the back, uh, attach, I think. Does it fit in the <laughs> That was cool. Not bad. Not bad. I think I officially have all these guys now. I guess it only shows one on the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got hiccups. Excuse me. It's just kind of weird that there's four things, but four of them, you know? I do remember this one being uh, special. Oh, you know what? The knife is probably good. Probably. That's probably what it is. I like the little ding little grenades. Does this come out? Oh, boo. Boo. He's got two knives on the back here. But you can't pull them out. This one, on the other hand, good job. It does come out. How about this one, Steve? <laughs> you call that a knife? That's pretty cool. I don't really know how much you really need this figure, though. Like, Commando's cool, but, like, the the Predator Arnold's probably still filled that kind of same niche. Kind of, but it does not come with, uh... It doesn't come with stuff I would love to give to my spawn. As yeah, I was selling a Terminator 2, the only reason I was thinking about buying it is just because I want the Gatling gun. <laughs> you should have. Oh, it's, you know how cheap it is to buy one of those bootleg ones? It comes with a Gatling gun, Steve. Oh, is. I know. Just saying. I just, I just want the Gatling gun, though. Because if somebody just sent me the Gatling gun, you got like a broken Terminator and you just don't care anymore. <laughs> Something. Steve, I have about five Terminators up there that got the Gatling gun. You can steal it from one of them. That one, the one with the box. Because then you'll never see it because it's always closed, anyways. It's like it's never been missing. Fifteen dollars. Five dollars. You add one to that, fifteen or fifty-one. I'll add one. That's six dollars. No, no, no. In the front. Or <laughs> you the said add one. I'm six dollars. <laughs> Call it good. All right. So the ones here is the customs that he did. So here is the Arnold. Colonial Marines. Colonial Marines. I think this is a Hudson. Uh, that's kind of... No, no, it's Hicks. Hicks, yeah. I think it's Hicks. Because it has the the torch on the side there. The camera on top. Problem is, is the front armor is the thing that I'm not sure. It says it's number one. Gosh, I don't remember. So I'm pretty sure that's Hicks, because Hicks was, like, in command after uh, Apollo. Yeah, is it? So I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain. Brett's going to let us know. But looks good. Like, it fits. Yeah. It's got the muscular arms. Got, he's got a watch, which makes sense for Arnold. To be... I I do have a Colonial Marines hat at home. Put one on it. <laughs> That'd be dope. And then the... The custom. The custom Arnold with the... That's the first Terminator head. Raz, let me know what, uh, what these guys are for. Well, I know that one, the white one. What is he supposed to be? The custom latest of? Arnold. No, that's just Dutch with the. That's like middle movie Dutch. I know there's something about this guy. I don't remember what though. Well, he's special because he has a cigar. Yeah, yeah, but he's like uh, I forgot which one he's called. That's the part that bugs me. Oh yeah, the names I had. called him Jungle Hunter Dutch. <laughs> I like that the sword comes out. Same with the pistol. I like the pistols. At least it looks like it comes out. It does. I took it out already. Yeah. Mm, cool. The pistol comes out. All of the stuff comes out. Yeah. It's a really sweet. Pretty much the giant Arnold mother load of Predator and. Uh, I got six new Arnold. Yeah, that's the movie. Six. Twenty. I got twenty five Arnold figures now. Only. Only. Yes. I'm still depressed that you never bought that actual Commando toy that we found. It was at the prop shop. Oh, a hundred and twenty bucks for that That's thing. Pretty cheap. I think it's like two hundred on eBay. I think it's open till five. 
And he, uh, it, was, it was like 25% off a single item if you go in before Saturday. You ready, Steve? But I don't have my card. I can't buy anything. That's okay. Here's Jessica's card. She has her card, too. I just have nothing. <laughs> she got you. She got you by the cojones. <laughs> Pretty much. Overall, I'm excited about this, actually. I do kind I'm of... actually sad, because this is the one I actually want. I do kind of want to open these guys, but I'm not. Oh, I was going to say, does it say on the back? Because he is on the back, you know. No, that guy doesn't have a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, the same order. No, no, but the cigarette is the part that makes him special. Sure. No, it's from something. I don't remember. Oh, I thought he had one. an extra head. No, he doesn't. No. Now it's going to bug me until I find out what it is. I guess I always like this look for this one. Which these are from, oh uh, yeah, these are all from the 25th anniversary. Yeah. Before uh, the 30th one happened. God, these figures are old. Because that one's like a few years old now. Yeah. Huh? That one's even older. Wow. Pretty soon it'll be 35 year anniversary for us, Steve. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll be sitting in the same chairs in our 50th year, 70 year anniversary. <laughs> you know, Rangers both need to eat chess. Had to poop my pants. <laughs> and I gotta check my pants. But anyways, uh, I guess that's pretty much about it. Would you tell me why in the fudge is there claw marks inside of my outside window part? You see that? Oh yeah, I just noticed that. I'm scared. <laughs> he was pointing out to me before we started doing the video. There's a bee nest forming in the inside of his window. Like I can see the hornet right up there. You see up top? Yeah. There's, there's hornets and stuff. So it's not a bee's nest. It's a wasp nest. It's a wasp nest. Yes. And then there's also what appears to be squirrel paw marks. <laughs> Trying like, to like get to the <laughs> bee's nest or whatever is it doing, but it's like clawing up the window. I'm well, he just wants to come in. He wants to enjoy your Arnold collection just like everyone else. I'm scared, and he wants some of these nuts. Arnold nuts. You need a flamethrower. You can put a trap. Can you put some glue traps there? Just see squirrels running through the neighborhood. Oh man, I had such bad experience with glue traps. I would never use those things again. <laughs> That's the point. Oh, uh, <laughs> it wasn't even bad for me. It was just dealing with the aftermath was just horrific on all fronts. Uh, it's graphic. I'm not going to get into it. We'll just say it's a glue trap and a mole rat. Use your imagination. Yeah, multiple of them to be as a matter of fact. You ever wake up to the sound of a baby screaming and realize it's not a baby? <laughs> oh, thank it's you so much, Rez. Rat. I really appreciate this. Yeah, I gotta look forward to my box. Yeah, I might buy another one, but off of them, but it's more probably gonna be for like customs than actual me putting it on the shelf. I'll probably get in and mess around with it. But anyways, help us defeat those guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. Again, if you guys are interested in picking up your own coldest water bottle here, you guys should. Link in the description. Yeah, these things are great. I got a We get sold them. one. Kind of shocked me. <laughs> I would hope we sold at least one. I was hoping for more, but I can understand. We appreciate you guys, anyways. Heck yeah. Even just hitting the like button. I treat that. Yeah, that. Yeah. It's the simple things that matter. Also, the simple things that this keeps your water cold. Great. So do it. But, again, also, link in the description and 10% off using Geek 10. But, help us defeat those guys by hitting like button. Hit. Help us defeat those guys. Oh, I'm keeping that button. By hitting that like button, that's fine. I, I can tongue twist it. Subscribe to the game range if you dare. We're tired. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, I, I, I have no sleep. It sucks because I haven't been working. So, how did I not get sleep and I don't have anything to really wake up to? Except my wife waking me up constantly. Give me one of these open arms. cat waking me up by licking my hand. At least you know somebody loves you. That is true. He follows me around like a little shadow. And now it's going to be a problem because I want to go out. Like when I want to go outside, he follows me out to the door. That's not good. And then I got to shoot him away. And he's like, meow. Like, I don't want to leave you. You're cute. That's great. That means he imprinted on you and not Jessica. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so I was wondering. Because when I'm, like, doing my stuff, like, when I go to the basement, the dog follows me, and then the cat's, like, shortly thereafter. 
she's gonna kill you, Steve. <laughs> the reason I got him was because he was a male, so he should technically. That's why we have two males. They're all over Rochelle, and I'm just like, ah, yes, just sitting here relaxing. Yeah, no. The only time they really snuggle with her is bedtime. I think it's because she's softer than I am. Sometimes it's best to walk away. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>